Peace, peace. Had a little technical difficulties. Um, I'm trying to make this, I'm going to make this a very uh, short video. Try to make it as short as possible. Um, but just want to say peace to my RBG nation. You know what I'm saying? And I uh, hope everybody's well. But I had to. Uh, retaliate on this L. Quan character, AKA Elephant Man. And um, this guy's a joke. I'm gonna put this guy on trial. We're gonna, we're gonna pretend this is we in the courtroom. And right now this dude is on trial. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna come with my own judgment and if you found guilty, then you need to be outcast. You need to be vanished, you know, because you're a fraud, you know. So I'm going to use his own words against him because he's on trial right now. Since he wants to pop shit and instead of having an uh, intellectual debate and put that shit on wax on live on live stream your man got into his feelings and start talking about people's features i'm going to play you one of his videos and um and i'm gonna let y'all be the judge i'm gonna let y'all i'm gonna let y'all be the judge and um, you tell me what y'all think. Okay. Let me play one of his videos. Tons of videos about me, so I'm going to have to go off now. Yeah. This guy, man, this motherfucker going to come in here and make videos about me talking shit. I mean, normally I don't go around talking shit. I evaluate. But in this case, I'm just going off right now, man, because uh, this man is not even worthy of being on my main channel, so he's going to be relegated to the hard, cold channel to do some hard time because this is some hard, cold business. This motherfucker right here. Man, look like a motherfucking erect penis with eyes and shit. I mean, this guy, I mean, you, you got the nerve to be coming on here talking shit. And I'm going to try and get this shit done in about 20 minutes, even though it could take an hour. So you just be patient. This motherfucker right here, man, this, this guy, all he does is be redundant and talk himself in circles and shit. Talking all shit, then when he wanted to confront me, or it was time to confront me, this man wasn't even around to do it. My man wanted to dip out the back door. I mean, come on. This guy right here, man. This guy fucking talking about I love a white woman. Man, come on, man. They make shit up because they can't beat me intellectually. You know? This guy right here, look at you he talking about white people all the time. This man got white lips and shit. <laughs> white people lips. This motherfucker got a platypus nose and shit. And, and Mike Tyson eyebrows and shit. I mean. See, this is, this is where I came to my conclusion that this Alquan guy um, well, I'm going to talk to directly to Alquan. I hope he's listening. I think Alquan, you're a homosexual. I think you have, I think you have homosexual tendencies because what straight man you know 
that will talk about a man's lips, say something about erect penises. Who talks like that? Now, the only, I know a female, I know when a female, or, or I know when a bitch, she, when she get played by a dude, and 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 the only thing that she could, only thing her retaliation is, or her comeback is, she's gonna talk about that dude's features and how and his penis size. That's the same thing you're doing. You mad at this at another man, and you're gonna talk about erect penises and his features and i you probably was doing that while you had your hand lotion so i think alquan you might have some uh homosexual tendencies my dude that don't sound like a was something that a straight man would say but that coming out of your mouth um and then you have said something about white women and you try to make it seem that you 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 don't you haven't been with white women and you don't like white women, but uh, you didn't say that when we had in in the video about interracial relations. You've been with a few white women. You love the Beckys. I'm not making this up. You said this for yourself. We'll play that for you. This is coming from your mouth. And it wasn't like, see, I would have gave you a pass. I would have gave you a pass if you wasn't conscious. Because if you don't know, you don't know. But you was you supposed to be a pro-black American, but you still slept with the Beckys. I'm not making this up. This is coming from your words. Remember, brother, you on trial. You are on trial. I'm not making this up. This is what you said, and you supposed to be a pro-black American. And you still slept with white girls. You admitted it. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't respect that. I respect that. <laughs> Thank you, Al <Alcorn. laughs> Now, I'll tell you this, though. I, I did mess with some white-style women. I, I bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Brother Craig. We broke the stream. <laughs> so, Elkhorn, when you had your first <laughs> white vagina, so did you went with the men, too? Because that's men with white folks, too. You know, they said, you know, with the white girl, she, could, she has amazing, you know what? So have you went with the myth as far as? Well, the only myth I'm aware of of white women is they like to go down on men all the time. I heard that story, which is definitely true. And but the, uh, most of the white women I had, though, they were what I call mixed I got, up, I you know, like Italians. So you admitted that you've been with the white girls. You said this. You said the white girls I had. So you you admitted that you've been with white girls. And you're also going to admit it that you was conscious. You were you're pro black because you always talking about you for pro black Americans, and you was doing this. Most of the ones I had were like Italian mixed style, you know, dark hair. Nothing and, wrong with a beautiful Italian girl. Yeah, and, they, and if they changed the name, you probably wouldn't realize that they were white uh, or called white. And um, one woman. You talk about the myths of the black man. I remember one time when I uh, was about the, you know, it was me, my boy. Yeah, you know, when a, when a, when a motherfucker decide to incriminate himself, he always said, uh, you know, he always, uh, 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 like he really didn't want to, uh, I know Elkhorn, you really didn't want to come, come out, but um, you, 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 you did. You 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 had to confess, and you didn't realize you was being set up. That's how stupid you are. 
That's why I asked you. See, you if you were smart, if you was a smart motherfucker, you would have been like, nah, bro, I wasn't, I wasn't even conscious, man. I didn't know no better. But you didn't say that. When his white girl, he he was the one who was, who was loving white women, and he introduced me to the other white woman. He said, man, you gotta get with this. He kept trying to force me into that world. I said, all right, man, I'm not really with that, but you know, I do want some action, so I'll take that. So uh this you before you became conscious? Uh <laughs> <laughs> There you go. See, I was trying to help you out, Alquan. I was trying to help you out. I said, this is before you became conscious? Because if you would have said, yeah, this is before, I would have, I would have, you know, I would have gave you a pass. But you stupid. This is how you're not really a bright person. I would at least lie. But you couldn't lie. Cause I but I respect your honesty. Remember, you on trial, bro. You are under oath right now. I'm being honest. It was after. And, and I know most of these black power guys, I know you lock them in a room with a white woman with the right body. You can't tell me they're not going to do something. Uh, well, that's not true. That's not true. So you false right. You you, you lied right. So basically, that's, that's, a, that's a lie because a lot of real pro-blacks don't go that way. They're not passing up their sisters for Becky, it's not. It's, that's not happening. But I'm gonna play you that again, because I want the people to hear. Because you claimed that you wasn't in. You you lied in the other video, talking about you wasn't in the white one. But you are. And but the, uh, most uh, of the white women I had though, they were what I call mixed. I, I, you I, know, I, like I, Italians. You know, not you know, most of the ones I had were like Italian mixed style, you know, dark hair. Nothing and, wrong with a beautiful Italian girl. Yeah, and, they, and if they changed the name, you probably wouldn't realize that they were white uh, or called white. And um, one woman, you talk about the myths of the black man. I remember one time when I uh, was about the, you know, it was me, my boy, and his white girl. He, he was the one who was, who was loving white women, and he introduced me to the other white woman. He said, man, you better get with this. He kept trying to force me into that world. I said, all right, man, I'm not really with that, but. You know, I do want some action, so I'll take that. So, uh, this before you, know, you became conscious? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest, it was after. And, and I know most of these black power guys, I know you lock them in a room with a white woman with the right body. You can't tell me they're not going to do something. Uh, see, there you go. A typical coon talk. He trying to. Because he likes white women, he thinks every black guy have a white woman fetish. It's not true. But you admit it that you into white girls. But in your your this video, you try to make it seem that you wasn't into white girls. But you confess that you did. All right. So not only you have homosexual tendencies. You enter the Beckys as well. You need to come clean. You need to come out the closet. You need to stop thinking of funk. You also live in a white neighborhood. You confess. So you're not even living among. If you so, here's my thing. If you're supposed to be so pro black American. How come you don't live in a pro-black American neighborhood? But you live in a white neighborhood. You confess in one of your videos. And here's the thing that you, you have an issue with white people, but you don't have a problem living with them. You live among the same people that you hate so much and you talk against the white man, but you have no problem living with the white man. But then you're going to get mad at the white man or white people when they are balling you when you in their neighborhood. Alcorn, I know you remember this video. Why Africa? So you dissing. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, you're a funny motherfucker, man. You, while you so busy dissing black folks who want to embrace Africa, <laughs> you want to, while you sitting there, dissing black people who want to embrace Africa, you get mad at the white, the somebody, I, I guess it was a white man eyeballing you, grilling you hard, that they want to know why the fuck you in their neighborhood. They want to know why the fuck you in their neighborhood and you get mad at them while you trying to do a uh, uh, this video about black people embracing Africa. That's so that's that's so funny. That's some funny shit. I laughed. <laughs> yeah, I got to play you this funny shit. You're a funny motherfucker. You're a funny motherfucker. Um, I'm from another country. And I'm, I'm just speaking on it from an external point of view. Don't start saying us, what the white man did to us, blah, 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 and what we our experience in this country. Now you're trying to join in. Man, what the fuck is wrong? I'm sorry, man. This nosy ass guy, man. Every time I'm in this garage, he was, he was working on the car. Now I ain't even doing nothing but talking in the damn car. This guy finds a way to be nosy. Fuck, it's, it's white people or something else, man. Anyways, nosy ass people. <laughs> ain't that some ain't that's that's a weird shit ain't that's weird you sitting there you talking about black people embracing africa and you not even living in a black neighborhood and you gonna complain about a white man grilling you and you in his fucking neighborhood let me play that shit again now what you doing I mean, whatever the hell I'm doing, it fuck it's, it's white people or something else, man. Anyways, this guy, man. Every time I'm in this garage, usually was well, working on the car. Now I ain't even doing nothing but talking in the damn car. This guy finds a way to be nosy. Fuck it's, it's white people or something else, man. Anyways, nosy ass people. What's coming around? What you doing? I mean, whatever the hell I'm doing ain't got nothing to do with you, man. Man, right damn. Anyways, <laughs> this guy distracted me. But, um. <laughs> ain't that something? And then you're going to get mad at the white man because you in his fucking neighborhood. You don't. So, you. So, basically, you have homosexual tendencies. You love the Beckys. But then you're gonna get mad at the white man because you and because he wants to know why the fuck you in his neighborhood. You in that white man's neighborhood. Why are you sitting there talking about dissing your dissing black people? And you supposed to be pro-black American. Wow. Unfucking believable. Like I said, dude, you're a fucking joke. You are a joke. I'm going to play you something else. I'm going to play you something else, which is very interesting, Alquan. It's about your sister. And like I said, I'm not making this up. This is something that came out your mouth, and I can see why you have an issue with West Indian men, especially people, especially our brothers and sisters in Jamaica. You, instead of your, you know, your sister is a whore. Basically, that's what you're pretty much saying, that she, she got her salad tossed by some Jamaican men and she got turned out. So everything, her world is nothing but Jamaica. Where she likes Jamaican music. She went from hip hop to R&B to reggae and and dance hall music. She's, she's stark, now she's cooking, uh, West Indian dishes like uh, curry goat, curry chicken, all that curry shit. And now she start talking with the uh, Patois dialect. <laughs> I'll call you a funny motherfucker, man. Your sister's got all that Jamaican cock in her mouth, and now you mad. Now the bitch sold out. 
Alcon, this is not coming from me. This came from your words. Here we go. Apart politics, like my older sister, she dealt with nothing but Jamaican men. To this day, I still don't know why. But after a while, she changed. How did she change? She started using uh, spices, curry, and all this other stuff that Jamaicans use in their uh, recipes. She started incorporating that stuff into her cooking. And now she acts like she's a Jamaican. She, she listens to Jamaican music. I'm like, this is not the sister I grew up with. She was listening to black soul music and rap music. Now she's listening to some Jamaican music. Oh my like, oh boy. And, you know, and this is an example of how people usurp. This is an example of how a woman, what you notice is mostly the women because they love the Jamaican men for some reason. Seems the darker and the uglier, not that dark and ugly go together. But the darker and the uglier, the better. Even though she had some Jamaican guys that had, you know, uh, I guess they had a little bit of Indian activity to them. She never liked any light-skinned guys, so never saw her with one of those. But, again, what that meant is that now she's no longer worrying about black America. And me and her, we never really discussed politics and social issues like that. Because we had a volatile relationship, you know, you, she's one of those people where you say the wrong thing, then they go crazy. But, um, <laughs> so, you know, I kind of stay away from real rural uh, issues when dealing with her. But from a few that we even try to discuss, she loves whoever pays, and she's not really concerned with black American issues. I would be correct to call her an Uncle Tom. But she's an Uncle Tom in a way that, that that's not necessarily anti-black Uncle Tom, but she's an Uncle Tom where she doesn't like black Americans herself. <laughs> Instead, you know, she likes the, the white man who pays her, even though well, I'm not going to tell business, but she likes the white man who paid her, and um, she likes Jamaicans. I don't think that's cool. You got to love your own people. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. She's an Uncle Tom because she messed with other black people in, Cent in Central America. <laughs> wait a minute. But ain't Central America is also Black America? They Black Americans, ain't they? When you talk about Costa Rica and Jamaica, all that Central America, because <laughs> you're supposed to be all pro Black American. You got Black people in South America, South America. I'm sorry. You got you got South Americans. You got North Americans. You got Central Americans, and they all experienced chattel slavery. You know, and there's black people in those countries or in continents. So your sister is a Uncle Tom. <laughs> uh, because she takes money from the white man. And how else she's going to pay her fucking bills and her rent? Or how else she's going to feed her family if she got family? I don't know. I, I <laughs> Yo, that, that's funny. So you mad because your sister got her salad tossed and now you have a vendetta against Jamaican men. Okay, I get it. <laughs> oh my God, that is funny. That is funny. So now I, I have more, now I understand why you hate Jamaicans and Black people from Central America, I, I understand that now because it all evolve around your sister uh, collecting Jamaican cocks in her mouth and got her salad tossed and as she got turned out and you upset, you mad. I get it. 
Uh, man, man. I mean, you're an interesting guy. Um, I noticed that <laughs> I like to save the best for last. I got a, another video that you did that you recorded. And like I said, this is not coming from me. I'm not saying all this. I'm not saying all this. This is coming from your words. You on trial. You are under oath. And uh, I'm going to play another video, which was interesting <laughs> with, with, with uh, Brother Garfield. And that Garfield, he's from Jamaica. And uh, he's a real dude. I like Garfield. I like real people. I like I like brothers that's real. I embrace all black people, you know, who 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 can share knowledge and wisdom. So uh you have a problem with Garfield, but Garfield, you it just shows you how much no one don't want you on a panel. Let me play you this shit. <laughs> now this is funny. It just shows you that nobody don't want to fuck with you. You know, you have a problem with Jamaican people, but then you want to get on a dick. <laughs> Here we go. And um, by the way, I see my brother Alquan calling in. Alquan, I am not taking your calls. You know why. You know why I'm not taking your calls, brother. Because, you see, I don't mind... Folks coming on here and talk. Aboriginal power could come on. Tenkara could come on. You know, because I know we could we could build. But there's some brothers and sisters out there do, that serve no purpose in this Aboriginal movement. They're just what you call um and what you call them wagonists. That's what we call them in. Ah. <laughs> oh shit! You're a wagonist, Elquan. You're a fucking wagonist. He he said. That's how they said in Jamaica, a wagonist. I that that's new to me. So you a fucking wagonist, man. You want to get on brother's Talik show after you diss this man like a bitch who just got fucked, and then you wanna you wanna jump on his panel. You wanna get on everybody instead of why don't you start your own panel? Why don't you start your own broadcast and and ha invite people? on your show. Why you gotta get on everybody else's dick? Now, Garfield don't even wanna fuck with you. Nobody likes you. You know, you remind, you know, it just showed, you remind me of Jason Black. Jason Black is a, why don't you get on Jason Black show? I think you and Jason Black will get along because y'all you, you know, both are the elephant man. Y'all, I call yourself the elephant men, I should say, the elephant men. Y'all don't show your face and y'all like to talk shit. Y'all ain't about shit. And y'all just like to run your fucking mouth and do nothing. So I think you need to go on Jason Black. I think y'all can be a good couple. Because Jason Black ain't shit either. So, uh, <laughs> yo, this is funny. Jamaica. It's a new wave to them. So they just jump on the wave to see what they could accomplish out of it to get what they could get out of the Aboriginal movement for those who are legitimate folks who are claiming native to this land. All right, um, folks, coming on here, brother, because you know what? I am not taking your call. <laughs> I gotta play I see my brother Alquan calling in. Alquan, I am not taking your call. You know why? You know why I'm not taking your calls, brother? Because you see, I don't mind folks coming on here and talk. Aboriginal power could come on, Tenkara could come on, you know, because I know we could we could build. But there's some brothers and sisters out there do, that serve no purpose in this Aboriginal movement. They're just what you call, um, and what you call them wagonists. That's what we call them in general. <laughs> it's a new wave to them. So they just jump on the way to see what they could accomplish out of it to get what they could get out of the Aboriginal movement for those who are legitimate folks who are claiming natives to this land. All right. Let me, let me deal with um, Aboriginal power. This is what we're, we're trying to figure out. Wow. So basically, you're not even a real native. You trying to claim something that you not. That's what he's saying. You're trying to claim something that you not. He's saying that you're a fake and you're a fraud. This is coming from Garfield. I wonder how, how you feel about that, Alquan. How do you feel about that, elephant man? 
how you feel that you're not even really part of native you 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 just a uh i don't know you're a wanderer you don't know what you are but you want to just jump on the bad wagon you're a wagoness <laughs> Oh man, but this you, you're an interesting motherfucker. So basically, you're not a native to no land. You're a wanderer. You have homosexual tendencies. You're a pro-black American that like that like the Beckys. And you live in a white neighborhood. Hmm. Sound like fraud to me. But I always say the best for last, because this is very fun to watch with you and Sarnetta. <laughs> you called on Sarnetta's show, and you had an opportunity to educate the people. You had an opportunity to put your plan on wax, to tell uh, what is your way of liberating black people, and you failed to do that. Instead, you start talking about the Illuminati. Hey, yo, dudes ain't into that shit no more. Ain't dudes ain't into that Illuminati bullshit. <laughs> uh, yo, but this is funny. I gotta play this shit. This shit is funny. I like I like this shit. And then you try to call you. <laughs> it just show you this is that you are a typical fucking troll. You are a typical fucking troll. Here we go. There we go. There, there hey, go hey, you. Look, That's you calling. Unknown call. That's you we calling, Al Kwan. Because we're not afraid. <laughs> yeah, what up? Yes, what's up? Yeah, what's on your mind? I told you this was. I told you these were black people, y'all. Tommy Sotomayor is right. Go ahead, what's up? Okay, now how come you always talking this Egypt Freemasonry stuff, uh, and you never talking about what's good for the actual black American? So I want you to no. Listen, listen. You got the floor. You tell us what's good for the black American people. You got the floor right now to teach. Let's get it. Now he's now Elquan Sarnetta's giving you the floor. He's giving you the floor, and you had an opportunity to educate because you always talk about you pro education, right? You have an opportunity to educate. This is the reason why you don't debate, you can't debate, you know, because. You have to show references. You have to show documentation. You, if you've been to school, you know when you do an essay, or you, if, they, if the teacher tells you you have to do a, a five-page paper, most of the time the teacher want to see references where you get your information from. You have to put down references. When you go to the white man's court, if you want to win your case, you got to show. Proof and evidence. You got to show documentation to, to, to win your case. Just can't go in a courtroom and just talk. You can't write a paper and just and, and not put down your any references or where you get, you know, that's this is like writing a Bible. That's why the Bible don't have no dates, no times, no references. Who was the translator? They don't got none of that shit. That's why the Bible is flawed. That's why the Quran is flawed. So uh He's giving you the floor. And and uh listen to what you said. <laughs> okay. Okay, good, good. Now hopefully I won't get hung up on. No, you ain't gonna get hung up on, brother. Go ahead. Well, you know, what's good for the black community or the black Americans is to stop these coons, stop these international coons from trying to speak for us and hustle on us out of money with the white man's free nation. That's it. You know, it's so funny how you talk about the white man, <laughs> but you live in a white man's community. You mess with the white man's women.
but you want to talk about the white man's Freemasonry and all that other bullshit you talking. And a lot of stuff that you talking about international black people, you also learned a lot of stuff. Didn't you said your sister is into is are, are involved with international men, black men? <laughs> oh man, it's, it's so funny. It's 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 really ironic that the shit that you said that come out your mouth, B. Interim thing that we need to stop doing. So if you could stop doing that, back out of this and worry about your Dominican and uh, the other guys worry about their Caribbean, there will be. So that's all we need, need, right? I'm not gonna hang up on you. That's all we need, right? That's all we got to do, and we're free, right? No, 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 no. Brother, listen to me. You have the floor right now. You got a lot of people listening to you, <laughs> and you ain't talking about <laughs> shit. See, that's what we're talking about. Ah. You trolls don't have nothing to talk about. I'm giving you the. F now, <laughs> that's just so funny. <laughs> Yo, he even saw so that. I said you was a fucking troll, so like, like you, that's what you do. You just like to harass people, b. That shit ain't cool. That's what what man harasses another man. That shit. I told you. I think you got some homosexual tendencies. You don't even harass women. You want to harass another man. You want to talk about a man look like a erect penis, and you want to talk about a man's lips. See, this is the shit that I'm talking about. You. I don't even think you're sh you're one hundred percent straight. You know. So this. So. You know, and I don't think black women, I don't think sisters want to be with you because they already know what you are. A white woman will, will fuck anything. You know, they don't care. They don't care if you 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 go you are you you uh you bisexual or whatever. You know, white women, they don't give a fuck. They they'll have sex with animals, they don't care. I'm not saying all of them, but most of the time they most of them do. So of course, you know, white women is pretty much easy to get, you know. With you, with you know, as far as you, you know, of course they sleep with anything, but but I think you got some homosexual tendencies, man. <laughs> but he's giving you the floor and you haven't said nothing. Floor right now. Teach our people, nigga. Shut up. Teach our people. You got the floor. Let's go. <laughs> now, this is uh five letter award. It sounds all good. See, look at you, brother, again, again. Don't talk about the Sarnetta Awards. You have the floor. Teach <laughs> the people, nigga. Teach the people. Let's go. I'm going to give you another shot. Let's go. <laughs> brother. Brother. <laughs> ah. Yo, you are not that bright, dude. Alcorn, I'm sorry. You are losing this case. You have an opportunity to say you, what your plans are or what your ideas are and you are, you have fell you have fell <laughs> and he's giving you the floor unbelievable see y'all see what I'm talking about family they have nothing for you I'm proving my point they got nothing for you they telling you what I'm not doing. I'm giving them the floor right now to teach the 492 people, and he's dropping the ball. This is what they're doing. So let's go. I'm going to give you another shot, brother. Let's go. You got the floor. Go ahead. <laughs> now, what we need to do is we need to get educated. <laughs> Oh, yo, what we need to do is to get educated. Like, we don't, like, there's not enough. Bro now, at the same time, Alquan, you get mad or you're one of your arguments, your arguments is that when a, you, you, wait a minute, what did you say before? You said, you know, uh, I think, I think with me, I think you said something about me, just like, oh, only thing I do is just, you know, I read a book. Uh, you, well, you have like this. You have issues with black people learning uh, what they see on YouTube because you can learn a lot on on YouTube. 
You can learn a lot by reading a book, but you have an issue. You have criticized black people who don't even go to the library. So I'm trying to, <laughs> but you, but you advocate education. <laughs> Read, ain't reading a book is educated education. You know, you can learn, like I said, you can learn your history on YouTube. Ain't that, that's education. But then you can say, oh, well, you know, like, like, like that's another, that's not enough black people edu being educated like right now. Sarnet is educated. I'm educated. My brother Craig and Talik is educated. My brother Maurice is educated. <laughs> is that your solution? So when we, so wait a minute, Frederick Douglass was educated, but you, you criticize black people been, being educated. You, cri you criticize Umar Johnson, you criticize uh, Malcolm X, you criticize all these black people that came before us and after us, all these black, all these sisters that came before and after us, and that's your solution? So, okay, well, okay, you said first thing we become educated, like, is that it? That's not gonna stop black people getting shot. That's not gonna stop black people getting killed by, uh, by, by, the, uh, by physical warfare, psychological warfare, uh, uh, biological warfare. Uh, that's not gonna stop, education is not gonna stop these things by racism. Do you even know what racism is? Do you know racism is an, inter, is an, an institutional system? Did you know that anything with an ism, ISM, is institutional? It's a system like capitalism, communism, racism. All that is a system, institutional systems. Like they have racism in school system. They have racism in in the uh, Justice Department, the, you know, they have racism everywhere. So after we become educated, which most of them sh are or should be educated, then what? We've been there, done that. We passed education. And we need to stop getting into the white man's Freemasonry. Okay, what is the white man's Freemasonry? Explain that shit. I don't understand. What do you, what do you mean Freemasonry? Because I'm not in the Freemasonry. So what is what is that? What is that? You have to show me what is black people doing um, that is Freemasonry. You know, I'm not a Freemason, so I don't know. I don't know what that is. So you have to, you know, why don't you use that platform to show how we um, that's into uh, committed science, because I don't think science is any has has anything to do with masonry that's that's nonsense so like i said you give white people too much credit that freemasonry came from white folks i don't know nothing about no freemasonry i don't i don't know what that is so you're gonna have to explain that to me need to stop worrying about ancient egypt all right we need to stop worrying about ancient Egypt. Okay, El Kwan. Do you tell the Asians not to uh not to talk about their emperors and their clans? What they might call them tribes or clans, you know, uh would you tell uh the white folks that's jewish not to uh worry about israel so you don't you you don't you don't tell no other races of people not to worry about their history but you have no problem telling your telling black people not to uh you have the, you have no problem telling black people uh not to uh embrace our history um even the white Arab said that ancient Egypt is the black man's history and the black woman's history. That's our history. So I don't understand that. 
So what should, so again, you haven't gave no solutions. You haven't gave your answer. Now, let me ask you, do you know where Freemasonry come from? Let's get it. Well, who controls it now? We ain't talking about now because we're not dealing with, hold on, just listen, shut up, nigga. Just listen <laughs> so you can really get what you We're not talking about, and we don't deal with the Freemasonry of the white man, of the shrine. We don't deal with that. We're taking it back to ancient Kemet where we are the master builders. We are the mothers and fathers of masonry. So if you're not talking about that and you're talking about the cracker shit, nigga, you stay on over there with the cracker because you love the white boy. We're talking about ancient Kemet. Well, he got that right. You definitely love the white boy because you're in his neighborhood and you mad because they eyeballing you because they don't trust you. They don't trust you. So you in your car and you were you mad because you was like, what the fuck are they looking at me for? Motherfucker, you are outsider. You shouldn't even be there. Why are you in the white man's community? If you're supposed to, supposed to be all for, for black Americans, why are you in, you're not even in the black American neighborhood? <laughs> so what, what part you don't understand? You don't know that there's a difference but you talking about education. Come on, you got the floor. I'm going to over talk you because you're manipulating the masses of our people. So now I'm giving you the floor where you can begin to teach our people. Let's go. I love this shit, y'all. I love it. Come on, let's go teach. You can go to Alphonse channel on YouTube. Brother, I'm not going to no. See, see, that's some sucker shit right there. <laughs> you, you're, you're a troll because you're trying to promote yourself. You're trying to promote yourself, and you have your channel is nothing but a anti-African page. That's what you. That's what. You, that, that's what you're trying to promote. You're trying to promote yourself, and you're trying to get donations on exploiting black people you're nothing you know different from the white man you know different but the white man don't want you in his neighborhood he don't want you in his neighborhood oh my yo this is this is funny this is really funny oh channel i'm dealing with your mind let's see what you know fuck what he said what she said let's go organic nigga Let's get it in. Organic, baby. Let's go. <laughs> now, the white man, the free masonry that you speak now comes from the white man, the Ottoman Turk. All right, brother, that's your... From the white man. It's coming from the white man. And the free masonry is coming from the white man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, this guy is a fucking clown. I swear. Oh, the t uh, coming from the white man. <laughs> I love it. Your masonry. That's where your Freemasonry come from. You don't see us over here dealing with none of that. So, nigga, why are you keep talking about something that you don't see us dealing with? Do y'all see what's going on? These niggas can't fuck with me, y'all. Throw up one if you agree with me. Throw up one in the chat room. Hey, troll, look in the chat room. These niggas can't deal with me. We talking about right now. We ain't talking about no white man Freemasonry. We talking about what we dealing with here, over here on this chat. So stop making up shit, nigga. You sound like a white man yourself. Kill that cracker that exists inside of your mind. Yeah, he's he has that white man. You could, you know, Alcorn, you could be a white man. You could be biracial, or you could be a black person with a European mind. You know, but you have audacity to call your sister a Uncle Tom. <laughs> at least, the at least she's with brothers. They might be international brothers, but they brothers at the end of the day. Ah, nigga, kill a white boy. You're destroying many black people out there. Why are you killing our people, bro? Wake our people up. Don't destroy them. You killing black kids. They listening to you. 
I want you to teach the child right now that is listening to you. You got the mic. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, she gave Solar Mind a ride that thing. Brother, brother. Now, see, instead of sticking to the, to the subject, you made three different answers. Like, you... Come, you you gave three different fucking answers. You know, you kept you kept changing. You didn't even stick. You didn't, you couldn't even stick to your answers. You could have just said, "Look, like I, like I said, we need to be more educated or whatever, whatever." You didn't, even, and then you didn't even take it and and try to uh get any give no examples, nothing. You kept changing. You kept switching up. He's giving you the floor. So you confused. You don't know what you want. You don't know what you want to see. You don't know what you you don't even know who you are. You in limbo. You in limbo. Brother, you worrying about my car now? Is that what this is about, brother? Now you dealing with material. Fuck the material. Y'all see where these trolls is at? <laughs> I love this shit because it shows me that they can't fuck with me. And y'all see it right now that they can't fuck with me. They worried about I'm driving in the fence. You damn right I'm driving in the fence, nigga. And you hate every minute of it, don't you? You hate it, don't you? <laughs> I'm driving in the fence and I'm looking good, nigga. And I'm never gonna stop. I'm never gonna stop. Huh? And you hate that shit, don't you? Damn. Y'all niggas is the worst, niggas. You worst, man. You worrying about my damn fence. You niggas is exposed. Huh? Where the bombs at? See? That, again, that's some homosexual tendencies. You weren't about his nice car. You want to talk about another man's lips. Uh, erect penises. Like, yo. What straight man going to worry about another man's property? What man, what real man talks about another man's lips, erect penises, unless he already been, unless he already indulged in that lifestyle, that homosexual lifestyle, or unless he's fantasizing about another man. <laughs> Alcorn, I know you are undercover, you are undercover homo. I know that's what you are. It's, you coming out the closet. Actually, you came out the closet, actually. You need to come. You need to come full blown out the closet. You need to be real with yourself. Where them bombs at, Sarnetta? There you go, baby. I love the trolls, and you know who taught me how to do this shit? My motherfucking man, Captain Tizobia. He said, "Sar, don't get mad at the trolls. Just answer them. Hit them in the head. Show them. Put them on Front Street, and show the world that they are absolutely mad at what my car." The way I dress, because I might wear some gators. <laughs> nigga, I'm going to wear my gators. I'm going to rock my shit. Nigga, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drive my bins to the wheels fall off, nigga. I'm not mad. I'm not. And guess what? The last thing that Sarnetta will do is hate another black man or black woman because they driving in a Rolls Royce or because they might have a Lamborghini. You know what Sarnetta will do? Damn, I like that shit. Damn, if I want that. If you can't, if you fail, you got the opportunity. There's a hundred teenagers watching you right now. What do you got to say to them? You got the floor. Okay, this is what I have to say. As long as I don't get hung up and muted, like I had to. <laughs> so wait a minute. He hung up on your punk ass, and you still calling? You still you still on this nigga dick? Yo, I, Alcorn, I think you're, you're that's some like I said, homosexual tendencies. At some point, B, you got to let that shit go. Be like, you know what? He ain't trying to hear what I have to say. I'm going to do my thing. But you kept calling the show. You kept calling the show. Why? You obsessed with this guy? You want what you want? You want you want to suck? You want to suck his erect penis? What do you want to do? I don't understand, Elquan. Why you keep calling this dude's show? Uh. What we need to do is we need to put the weed down and get put the weed down. First of all, I thought it was education. So that was one solution. Then another solution you said put the weed down. You said, first of all, we're gonna put the weed down. 
And then you didn't even know what the hell you was talking about. You were just that was just something you just made up. Uh, anytime when a nigga said, uh, uh, you fell right there. You know you're losing this trial, Alcorn. I'm just letting you know this. You 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 you're losing this trial. You're not winning at all. Just letting you know that. Get a college. Come on, man. See, family, I proved to you that these niggas ain't got nothing for us. These niggas ain't got nothing for us. Put the weed down. The weed is not the problem. The college degree is not the problem. It's the nigga mind mentality. That's the problem. Like this nigga that we got on the phone. He was really exposing himself. What's your name, bro? So we can know your name. Because you already proved that you's a pussy. We already proved that you's a coward. Be yep. Just like my brother Talik said, you are no different than a ninja. You're a coward. That's why I call you the elephant man. Because you walk around, you, you probably a grotesque motherfucker. Can't get no, can't get no real pussy. And you you wear a bag over your face. You don't want to be seen. You hide your number. You know, as an as, as anonymous caller. And like Sonetta said, you are a pussy and a coward. Don't even was not even man enough to show your face like a man. And now you calling. You know. With, with no with no number, so no more I can get in touch with you. Unbelievable. Because you got your number blocked. Hold on. You got your number blocked, but you got my number showing you that I'm a man. I'm showing you my face that I'm a man. That I'm not hiding behind no YouTube chat. I'm a man. Who are you, nigga? <laughs> Let's get it. Call in trolls. This is the troll hour tonight, baby. All you niggas gonna get a you feel me? You get. Oh, I agree with you 100%. I'm doing it tonight. I am doing it tonight. They have nothing on me. Don't y'all see that? Peace and black power. What's your name and what you call it? Right. But check this out. Check this out, brother. The reason why. Brother, where you call him from? you call him from? Yeah, what's up? First of all, I'm saying to that Canadian. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I turned you down. Nobody can hear you. What's your name and where you're calling from? I'm calling from a place to be. Brother, if you want to be heard, what's your name and where you're calling from? <laughs> Don't be scared, bro. Do not be scared. What's your name and where you're calling from? Where you calling I'm from? from? I'm up the street. Uh, nigga, listen to me. If you want to be heard, they can't hear you right now. If you want to be heard, Unbelievable. I run this show. Unbelievable. I'm loving this. Now, I'm going to give you the opportunity to teach the people right now. You hear me? So, you got the floor, Troll. Go ahead. I'm not a troll. That's number one. Uh, number two, uh, King, uh, uh, separate. Country, uh, they should have their own leaders and worry about themselves. Brother, brother, listen to me. Unbelievable. Why are you worried about the love that we just got out of Canada? You are a troll, nigga. Because you're worried about that man sharing love with us. So I'm going to ask you again. What's your name and <laughs> where you call it? <laughs> Come on, man. Let's get it. I said this is Al Kwan. All right, Al Kwan. This is Al Kwan. New York Al Kwan. Why don't you come on 125th? You're from New York. I've been there already. Okay. Whatever you got to say, come on over there. Say it in I'm our face. Say it. In, you ain't say it in our face, though. Come on over there. Negro. Listen to me. I'm <laughs> calling you a nigga right now. <laughs> now that gives you an opportunity. Get him, sir. Come on over there and say all that stuff that you got to say <laughs> to our face. You're from Harlem. So come on out there. Oh, you from. Oh, you from Harlem, dude? Oh, so yo, Alquan, you from Harlem? We should meet up then. We should meet up, Alquan. You from Harlem, right? We should meet up. I was raised in Harlem. I'm in Brooklyn. I'm in Brooklyn, Alquan. We should meet up. How about that? We should meet up so I could punch you right in your fucking face. 
We should meet up. So I could punch you right in your motherfucking face. But you're not gonna meet up. You're gonna be you you're a homebody. You're gonna stay at home and you're gonna be on your little computer because you're a computer thug. And you're no different than that guy, Hassan Poppy, that people call him Poppy. Campbell, that fat pedophile motherfucker. You're no different than Jason Black, who's another dude who don't show his face. So my thing is like this. If you from New York, if you live in, in the city of New York, we definitely should meet up in person so I can knock the fuck out of you. But no, you won't do that. You're comfortable in your house because I know you live with your mama. You know what I mean? I know that for sure. But I'm gonna finish finish this up. This is almost over. This is this is the one of the best videos I heard in a long time. You damn right. I got young I got young soldiers out there, nigga. You think so? Sarnetta don't have to fight. I got young soldiers, nigga, that love Sarnetta. What are we talking about fighting for? All right, because you talk, you come on up. You coming on here? You got hate for us. So what you got? Talk to me. I'm gonna give you an opportunity. Listen to me. I'm going to give you an opportunity to teach our people right now. You got that floor to teach our people right now. Don't don't say nothing else if you're not teaching. What you got for them? You got the mic. Go ahead. Mm. Let's go. Let's go. You got the floor. But before I do that. No, 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 no. Ain't no before you do that. I'm giving you the floor to teach, bro. Whatever I'm not doing, you got the floor. Now I hear crickets. Told you all you niggas are the same. You talk that shit about what we ain't doing. Now you get the floor and you don't know what the hell to do. Boom. Right there. Alquan, that's exactly what you're doing. You have an opportunity to claim your case and you failed. And then the funny thing about it, you get hang up on and you called at least five or six times and you still haven't said nothing. You still haven't said nothing. Not even talk about your pro black American stance. You didn't even claim that shit. Well, well, yeah, first of all, we have to put the weed down and uh and go to college. Are you is that it? Is that is that your solution? So what college you talking about? You talking about a black college, white college? What college you talking about? My my thing is like this. Have you been to college? And if you did, show me your degree. Show me a degree. Don't be telling somebody else to go to college and you haven't gone. See, I'm exposing you niggas. We exposing you calls. You got the floor. I'm going to give you another shot. Go ahead. Come on, let's go. Let's go. All right. First of all, what we need to do, since you mentioned Coons, Black America, not... There you go. Let's teach, baby. There you go. Okay, not the Caribbean, not Canada. We need to eliminate and eradicate Coons and house niggas to the white man. That's what we need to do. <laughs> so that's what we need yeah. to do. See, man, you ain't got nothing to talk about, man. You don't have no true teachers, brother. What do you have tangible right now that you can give to our people and teach them. You got the floor again. My man, listen to me, man. Listen to me, man. You ain't got nothing. Just say you don't got it. That's it. We exposing you cools today. I love this shit. I love it. Because you are exposing your hand. You got the floor again. Go ahead. Get up. Come on, you got the floor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. He ain't saying nothing. He ain't saying nothing that we haven't been saying already. We've been saying that all day, nigga. Now you regurgitating. You trying to remix what the hell we've been teaching all this time. Oh, man. I, I rest my case on this. He showed his ass. And I want the people to see 
the fuckery this guy has done. And uh, I want the people to see how this guy, Sarnetta, had gave this guy so many chances to prove his case. So many, so many chances, so many chances. He called the least, yo, Alcorn got hung up on. Alcorn kept calling back. And even Sarnetta gave him so many chances to 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 uh to give his ideas his solutions and the only thing he came up with we need to be educated we need to put the weed down we need to go to college that's all of what i've heard we have enough black people that got college degrees. We got a lot of black people that got master's degrees, doctorates. And that's not stopping the racism. That's not stopping the racism. How's that stopping the racism? That's the question. How's that stopping the biological warfare that's, 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 uh, that's, that's against us? The physical warfare, the spiritual warfare, the psychological warfare, the mental warfare, all these warfares is against us. That's it. That's that's all you have to say, Elquan. So Elquan, the jury has spoken. And I just add that you are guilty. You are guilty of being a fucking fraud. You are guilty of being a ignorant, I won't even say ignorant, just being a fucking dumbass. And you are just a fucking troll. <laughs> like my man. Like my dude said, you are a wagonist. <laughs> oh, man. Peace to Garfield. Peace to my brother Garfield. Sonetta just tore your ass up, uh, Alcorn. He just tore your ass up. I had to save the best for last. But um, Alcorn, um, I'm not going to make no more videos about you. Like I said, you just told on yourself. You are guilty of being a closet homosexual. You're also guilty of uh, loving white women. You're guilty of hating on Caribbean men, especially Jamaicans, because your sister got her salad tossed and you're mad at your sister and you even called her a Uncle Tom. Um, you also felt of uh, of ex of giving out your solutions of to uh, liberating black people, or I, I say black Americans, you failed. Um, also, too, you failed because you're not even living among black Americans. You live with white folks, and you have the dacity to get mad at a white man for grilling at you and you in his neighborhood so um i'm not making this up these are coming out of your words so uh just want to put that out there i will say to everybody everybody that's familiar with this alcorn dude unsubscribe to this guy he's a phony he's a fake he's no different than jason black Stop donating to these guys who don't is afraid to show their face. You know, you don't know if these guys are uh, government agents. You don't know. And their job is to, to dismantle and separate, or basically divide and conquer black people. And you got a lot of black people that works for the government. And this is their job. This is what they do. Their mission is to divide and conquer and be under white supremacy and force black people 
to respect white supremacy. This is the reason why you got Kanye West and all these other coons rocking the whole uh, Make America Great Again, but they don't want to wear a hat talking about Make, a, make, a, uh, make Africa Again. Make, I'm sorry, Make Africa Great Again. They won't wear a hat of that. They won't wear a hat that would say Make Africa Great Again. They won't wear that hat, but they'll wear a hat called Make America Great Again, which is crazy. To me. These are black people. So with that said, family, I rest my mic and uh, I hope I uh, cleared the air. Alquan, you just been ethered by your own words. <laughs>